how you doing everybody this is David and welcome to a tech for Android today's video I'm gonna be showing you an application called Floatify um, it's gonna give you the look and feel of the Android nougat notifications now I did a video on Tuesday I'm not sure if you watched that or not but if you have go check that out tell me what you think um, but that video I've done on Tuesday is called quick reply and it also has the same similarities to the Android nougat notifications but Floatify gives you more options and customizations to work with so you might actually be interested in this as well so what you want to do is go down to the Google Play Store and download Floatify scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page you're gonna see where it says Floatify Pro unlocker go ahead and click on that uh, it's between one to two bucks uh, the money is well worth it trust me it is so once you go ahead and you get that downloaded go ahead and open up Floatify now we're gonna be dealing with just four pieces of this app which is a heads up gesture style and a quick reply so bear with me first thing you want to do to get this set up is go open up to where it says heads up and go under where it says which and once you go ahead and you open up which it's going to give you an app settings you click on that and it's going to show you a bunch of applications that's already installed into your device now remind you votify is an application that gives you android in notifications so the only apps that technically going to work on floatify is your gmail uh, whatever email you have um, your uh, default sms um, things like that okay but if you want to you can go ahead and check everything if you want to and i'll show you how this all works uh, when we get out of here so go ahead and check what you want get that set up you want to go where it says notifications don't show notifications containing specified words uh, if you go ahead and you click on that if you don't want it to say like a cuss word or whatever word just go ahead and put that in hit add and notify I'm sorry uh, floatify is going to go ahead and uh, take action on that so once you get that done let's get out of there and right here where it says system show system notifications hit that check that box in uh, because when we were talking about earlier when I was in here selecting application which gonna show uh, you know quick replies this box checked in right here is gonna help with that okay so for example if you get a notification um, from any other app that you didn't uh, check the system is gonna show you the standard notifications if that system doesn't have the option for quick reply and floatify okay so you want to go ahead and check that show persistent notifications where it says persistent apps that always keeps notifications go ahead and check that as well and the last thing you want to check right here where it says only quick reply heads up show only notifications with quick reply so you want to go ahead and check that in as well once you get that done go ahead and hit the back button and go where it says when once you go under right there under actions it's going to say on notification you want to go ahead and click on that and where it says latest notifications heads up click on that once you make that where it says on lock screen go ahead and hit that as well and also type uh, not type also check in latest notifications heads up okay now right here where it says after unlocking latest notification heads up click on that as well and also make sure you put in latest notification heads up okay now when you are under these settings be very careful what you check and, and whatnot because when i was using this app originally i had no idea what i was doing and it took me at least two to three days just to get it to where i want it to be okay so be very careful when you read very thoroughly what you mess around with okay because this app is slightly confusing that's why i'm going over all these things with you so you can get it to work properly the first time now right here where it says screen on latest notification heads up go ahead and click on that and also make sure that latest notification is checked in okay now go ahead and hit the back button and you want to go where it says position when you go into position you have options here where you can have the position offset the max heads up size uh, landscape portrait width whatever you want to do uh, you want to customize it to how you like it so once you get done doing that make sure where it says position 
go ahead and click on that and make sure it's always on top if you want that nougat look and feel but if you want it somewhere else by all means go ahead and click what your options are um, once you go ahead and do that where it says position on lock screen floating up type floating above status bar if you don't want that you have other options and how you want that set up as well so once you go ahead and you do that go ahead on the top right where you see a little arrow and press on that once your settings is set up it's going to show you how you had it customized and you have the ability to you know swipe it to the right and it dismisses the notification now you also have the option is when you get a notification if you swipe to the left you have three options you can either hit direct reply reply with the keyboard or you can hit more apps which pretty much gives you an option of oh I didn't check in this box with this application from earlier I'm gonna go and do it now and get it over and done with but when you hit direct reply it gives you three options so if you hit OK it goes away um, so that's awesome that's a pretty cool feature it also works on the lock screen so whenever you get notifications um, through Floatify you're gonna get it on the lock screen and you'll be able to read it and use the gestures and you can also do the quick reply on your lock screen without having to unlock your device now that is something worth messing around with so once you get that set up hit the back button go into interaction now these options here pretty much tells you however your gestures you want it to set up you can have it remotely set up for that so for an example if you go on single tap and you want it to be on clear notification it's going to clear the notification without you having to use swipe gestures okay so if you do a single tap it's gone so usually what i do is just go ahead and just hit the open notification um and so once you get done doing that you can also hit the arrow on the top right and you can go ahead and mess around with it to make sure it's working correctly um it usually is so once you get that set up go back and go into where it says timeout now timeout is pretty cool because you know you have a time frame on when the notification goes away if it just sits there and you can't get to your device or you just forget about it now you have the options to set it to 16 seconds 5 seconds 36 seconds or this is my favorite one if you swipe all the way down to the right it says infinity which means it will never go away so if you're watching a movie or you're listening to music whatever you're doing you don't have to leave your current app just to get back notifications you can actually keep it right there and it will never go away and if you swipe down you can actually have it open like this as well now usually if you get an email and it's a little longer than what you see here usually if you you know do the gesture get your finger and swipe down um, you can expand the text where you can actually read it like you would in the Android and notifications uh, 7.0 and NuGet so once you do that hit that get out of the way now on the bottom where it says screen off it says turn screen off after timeout now if you do have it set to a certain amount of time frame like you have it set for 15 seconds the notification goes away you want to go ahead and just check in that box because if not this app is going to be running in the background and it's going to kill your battery okay so make sure you get that checked in um, it also works on the lock screen timeout inactivity so keep in mind you know that what's what you want knock yourself out um, hit the back button go into content it's pretty much going to say this is the customization that you can do and um, once you get done doing the customizations again go ahead and just click on that arrow on, on the top right corner and you'll be able to see how you had to customize and if it's the way you like it then hey we're all good so go ahead and get rid of that hit the back button and behavior uh, what happens when heads up appears so Whenever, whenever you get a notification, you have the option to um, put a notification sound on it. Whatever's on your device, ringtone or the standard, you can apply that to the, you know, Floatify itself. Um, on another way, when it says wake screen, wake the screen when notification arrives, auto pocket detection. If you click on that, you have the option to either wake directly, smart wake after pickup, or smart double tap to wake. Um, I usually go ahead and check in wake directly um, and then whatever the screen out time is when that uh, notification goes away your screen turns off okay so it's perfect after you do all that go ahead and get out of there go ahead and go back one more time 
you want to go into gestures now they don't really give you a lot of options for gestures so just keep in mind this is only what you see and is only what you can do on it so when you get done doing those just get ahead go ahead and get out of gestures and go into style now i know i told you about the android you know uh, notification look but now you have the option to make it out of a theme so if you go into themes it's going to be checked in where it says android in dark now you can either do android in or marshmallow in or however or whatever you want to choose that's entirely up to you but you have everything from lollipop and windows 10 basics um just go through here check what you like but if you want the nougat there you go um so when you get done go ahead and click on that and once you do that go to layout when you go to layout you have these options to do either marshmallow android in android and light or marshmallow refreshed so i'm going to go ahead and just choose android in text and icon and right here where it says advanced expert settings go ahead and just click on that now this is going to give you more of a customization when it comes to notifications and heads up okay so look in there check it out set it up however you like it after you get done doing that just go ahead and get out of there go back one more time and um, you want to go into quick reply now uh, where it says show indicator show indicator if quick reply is available go ahead and check that box in also where it says emoji cons go ahead and check that in um, for those of you who don't know what that is uh, for example you get a notification and it has the ability to do the quick reply when your keyboard opens up you're gonna have the emoji cons in the keyboard so you can put in a smiley face or whatnot um, right here where it says direct action check in that box to show quick reply icon in direct action bar if available so go ahead and check that in uh, regardless if you get the android in you know look and feel if you don't have that but you still need to check that in okay guys for this to work correctly um disable and lock screen so basically if you get a notification on your lock screen and you don't want people to read what you have just received on your lock screen go ahead and check that in it's pretty much will keep it completely confidential okay um once you get done doing quick reply hit the back button and uh you you know this might pop up you know to give a development please leave a short range uh rating of an uh you know an app store or whatnot you can hit you know okay sure no thanks whatever but once you get done doing that the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure there is no double notifications okay guys now if you get a text message um from your default device and you get another notification from Floatify, basically you're getting double notifications, okay? And to prevent that from happening, let's just say for an example, you have Google Messenger as your default SMS, okay? Not only that's gonna go off, but you're also gonna have Floatify going off as well. So in order uh, to get that fixed, just go to help and go where it says heads up, okay? Now, as soon as this opens up, you wanna go down to where it says apps click on apps and remind you again I'm just giving you an example you know of me having Google Messenger as my default SMS so once this list opens up you want to go ahead and go all the way down to Google Messenger and I'm just going to use uh, XDA for example make you think that it's Google Messenger now right here where it says allow peaking go ahead and turn that off that way whenever you get a text message um, you're not going to see those double notifications from Google Messenger. You're just going to see the notifications with uh, Floatify so you can get that experience, the Android in look and feel. Now that in general is with any application. Whenever apps you checked in to get that quick reply, you need to go into your apps and make sure the allow peaking is turned off. Otherwise, you're going to get double notifications from every other app that is getting um, an application. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me for that. I didn't mean for that to happen. But um, just this just gives you an idea how to prevent the double notifications. And um, once you get that done, go ahead and turn off your device, reboot it. And once your device is restarted, all your safe settings are automatically adjusted to the way you had it set up when you first opened up the app. 
But um, other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the link on the left here with that green robot to subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead and check out my other videos. Tell me what you think. Give me your feedback. And um, if you have any questions um, related to any of my videos, just go ahead and e you know, email me at uh, atex65 at outlook.com. And I will get back to you as soon as I can.